Hello everybody, Rain Florence. Welcome to my channel. Today's video topic is all about inversion tables and why you should take time out each day to hang upside down. My inversion table is directly behind me. It's right here. You can find inversion tables online. I saw a good deal on Amazon for like $100. And basically what it does, it is allows your spine to decompress so that if you're having any back pain or if you're having kind of a slunched posture from working on the computer or whatever, or if you're having a neck pain, you can just use this inversion table. I would aim for about five minutes each day and work up from there. Some people can go up to 30 minutes upside down, but you want to work slowly. You just want to take it slow. But I love mine. It, I start to get some neck pain and I can hang upside down and it goes away. So I am about to show you how I use mine. I like to use mine outside in the sunshine. I like to put my bikini on so that way I get the added benefit of vitamin D because that's a very important nutrient. So I get two for one. So I'm about to show you how I like to use my inversion table. So let's get started. When you use an inversion table, you want to wear some tennis shoes because you're going to need with socks because it's go you're going to hang by your feet basically. if you have long hair to put it in a ponytail.
tension in it when you're hanging upside down. You don't want any tension in your body and you usually just want to hang straight down with your arms down. workout it does take some getting used to you will start to feel lightheaded after a while your body will get used to you hanging upside down when you're hanging upside down you want to make sure that you wiggle your neck make sure there's no tension and that you're just hanging completely upside down my t my inversion table is not the best because it's really big and bulky so I'm thinking about ordering a different one. I'm thinking about ordering one from Amazon. I just saw, saw one that was about a hundred bucks and it was really easy to move. But this inversion table that I have, it's huge and it's really hard to move. So think about that when you're buying one. You don't want one that's really humongous and that's going to be hard to move. But they make them for about hundred dollars and they're really easy to move around and use so anyway let me know what you think about hanging upside down in the box down below thanks for watching <laughs>